It is time for some more File Folder Friday fun. Hi everyone, it's Sherry. I hope that you are having a wonderful day. Today we're using black and white stripes. Stay tuned. Welcome friends. I am so glad that you are here. Welcome to all of my new friends and welcome back to everyone who's been supporting my channel. Thank you all so much for always being in my corner and helping my channel to grow and helping to support what I'm trying to do with my channel. Today we're going to use this beautiful black and white file folder to make something very simple, very stylish. I'll give you a closer look at what I'm talking about in just a minute, but y'all know what time it is. It's time to make it. All right, so here is the file folder that we're going to be using today. I shared these with you in a previous video. I'll try to have links in the description box for these, but y'all, they are beautiful. You get nine file folders, three different prints each, and I believe I got these from Amazon, but I think they also sell them at Walmart online and maybe even Target online, but definitely Amazon carry these. So what we're going to be doing today is a twist on something that we make on the channel, but it's also something that we always need. And here's what I'm talking about. We're going to make a beautiful holder for some four by six notepads. But this one is going to have a little bit of a twist. It's going to be an easy way to refill this. So we're not going to attach or glue anything to this to hold the pads in place. We are going to rely on clips to hold it in place. And I'm going to show you what I'm talking about by opening this. And you can see that over here I have a pad and over here I have a pad. So you have twice the fun in this beautiful stylish holder. And I'm holding it together using clips. Going to be very, very easy for you to do. When you run through a pad, just add another one. So simple, but so stylish. This is four and a quarter by six and a quarter, and it is one inch deep. Y'all look at how stylish this is, and it's so easy. And you can very easily carry this in your hand. So here's what we're going to be using. I have one of my file folders. This one is a large legal size file folder, so it's 14 inches long, but we're going to be trimming it down. Then I have two of the Dollar Tree notepads that we'll be using, and I have two clips. Now, I thought I had some larger clips, and I probably would have used the next size up from these. These are the smallest ones. There is a size that is slightly larger than this, that would have worked even better for my project, but I'm going with what I have because I was able to make it work. And then we are going to be using some chipboard, so this will be different. We're going to be wrapping chipboard with a file folder, and you'll see how easy it is to do, but I haven't cut the chipboard because I get questions on how do you cut your chipboard when you're only using a small amount of chipboard. So I'll answer that question as we get into the project. And then I have a six by 12 inch piece of scrap that I'll be using for the inside liner and we will trim that down as well. So, so let's go ahead and do the prep work part of this project first. So I'm going to take my file folder and I'm just going to cut it down to 12. Then I'm going to put it back in and we're going to trim it down to eight and a half. So basically I'm starting with eight and a half by 12. And this file folder was folded when I did my cuts, but now I'm going to open it and I am going to go ahead and trim again at eight and a half. And that's going to give me two pieces that are eight and a half by 12, which means I can make two of these holders from one of my file folders. So we have this piece prepped. I'm going to show you what I did to my notepad. So all I'm going to do is take my finger blade and using the black as a guide, I am just cutting across and I am bearing down because I want to cut through the top layer. And let's go ahead and remove that. Same thing here. I decided that I did not want to cover this with a decorative cover because I like the black and white look, but you can cover yours with a decorative cover if you want. 
So I am just going to very lightly cut right there to trim that. So now I have these two pieces done. So let's move those. Now here's how I cut my chipboard. So whenever I have a dull blade in my trimmer, I mark it with a permanent marker. And that is the blade that I use to cut onesie twosies of chipboard. Ordinarily, if I'm doing a large project and I need a lot of chipboard, I use my electronic paper cutter by Vivor. But if you're looking for how I cut chipboard when I'm doing just a one-off project like this, I just place it in using the dull blade and we are going to trim this at six and a half. And I'll go ahead and trim this way. I said six and a half, it was six and a quarter. Then I'll go ahead and trim it this way, two pieces at four and a quarter. And all I'm doing is I'm using the blade to scratch the surface. The blade is not cutting through because it's dull, but it's giving me the cut mark that I need. And then I'm going to cut a piece at one. So I am just going to fold this like this, fold like that, fold like that, and then fold like that. And now I can use my finger blade just to go into that fold mark and finish off the cut to my chipboard without any stress to my hand. And I do that to get all of my pieces. So I just go through where I fold it back to expose that and we just go in and we cut. Light passes, we get the job done. So that is how I cut my chipboard when I'm doing small scale projects. So I am going to go ahead and take my tape and tape the chipboard. I'm using a double sided tape. I will tape my chipboard and y'all I'll be right back. All right, y'all, so sometimes when you're recording, you think that you are filming and you aren't. And that is what just happened to me. So I'm going to set this to the side and show you very quickly what you missed. So what I did when I thought I was filming is I took my taped chipboard pieces and I placed them down on my paper like this. Then I took my stylus and I went around and I scored all the way around. And then I mitered my ends, but I am going to show you what I meant by mitering the ends. So I basically just went along the edges like this. And then along this edge like this. And I did that on all four sides. And then I added tape all the way around and I folded over onto the tape. And that's where we are now. So after I folded everything over, what I have started doing is placing down tape on the chipboard and you can see that tape running across. And then I have an inside liner piece that I also cut out that I ran tape along the edges. And the way that I figured out my inside liner piece is I took my jacket once all the sides were folded over, I took that jacket and it measured nine and seven eighths. I reduce everything by a quarter when I'm doing my inside liner. So the nine and seven eighths became nine and five eighths. And then I turned it this way and the six and a quarter this way, I reduced it by a quarter of an inch and it became six. So I cut out my inside liner at nine and five eighths by six. So now what I'm doing is I'm peeling away the tape backers and you can see that I have this chipboard covered in tape. And then I'm just going to peel away the tape backers from this piece. And then we'll join the two together. So I am just going to take this piece and we're going to put it down, trying to get it even in placement all the way around. 
but it really does bum me out when I think I'm recording and I'm not and I look at the camera and I see that my light is not on which means girl you are not recording so I am using my big old spatula to get everything nice and stuck then we need to go in and let's work those spines you want to make sure that you get the spine really nice and crisp and nicely defined and then I'll come at it from this direction so that I can work this side of the spine and I like to go in with the tip of my big old spatula and we'll get that stuff and so there is our beautiful stylish jacket y'all the rest of this is going to be so easy because we're going to take these notebooks and our clips we just line them at the top and we clip like I said bigger clips will hold this better than these are my bigger clips I thought I had some but I could not find them so either I don't have them never had them or I use them but then I'm going to take this one and do the same thing and now I'll close it and you can see that the placement on that is pretty good and so the last thing that I want to do is I want to add just a little initial for the person I'll be giving this to and I am going to add just a little bit of glue because these initials that I have they were bought from Tuesday morning and you guys know how long it's been since Tuesday morning was actually selling crafting products or even existed in a storefront so I am just going to put that there I'll take my big old spatula to really press down to make sure that we have a good burnishing on this and y'all I think that this is just so so stylish I am going to open it so that you can see the inside and you can see that we have these two really nice little four by six notepads that you can get from the Dollar Tree or you can get four by six notepads from almost anywhere and do the same thing so just clip them in and that way when they need to be refilled you just put in a new pad and clip it but don't you think that this is just so simple so stylish so stinking cute and it started with a file folder and we wrapped chipboard in a file folder something I haven't done on the channel before but now that I know that it works I'll probably be doing it again so I hope that you have enjoyed this really sweet file folder craft if you have please hit the like button if you're not a subscriber to my channel all day every day y'all this is what we do and this is how we do it so I would love to have you subscribe hit the subscribe button make sure you hit the notification bell so that you will know when I upload a new video as always my friends y'all please be safe be kind and be the reason someone smiles today happy crafting and we'll chat later bye